And thank you. We've been hearing so much talk about absentee ballots, mail-in ballots, disagreements over the objectivity of the electoral process, taking center stage this election cycle for sure, from the Electoral College to, again, mail-in ballots. Well, we are not in a battleground state in Indiana, and we do not send out mass mail-in ballots. But we wanted to take a closer look tonight at the ballot counting process, giving you more insight into how it works. Fox 59's Courtney Crown shows us. I feel somewhat sorry for them because, you know, it's a lot of hard work. Kathy Williams, the Hamilton County clerk, knows what it takes to make sure every vote is counted. With so many people asking questions about how ballot counting works, we asked her to see what happens here in Indiana. There are checks and balances all all the way through the process. For example, for absentee ballots, each one is logged into the voter registration system after it's received. They match it up with the voter's application and put it in boxes and store them in a security room. It is a double locked room. Um, the Republicans have a key and the Democrats have a key. So that's how they're stored. Then the absentee board makes sure the signatures on the ballot and application match. If they don't, a letter is sent to the voter. On election day, the office prints out a precinct report for each counting team comprised of a Republican and a Democrat. That team verifies the correct number of ballots for the precinct. Once they agree to that, then they start physically opening the ballots. This system of checks and balances is why Williams insists people should have faith in the system. Even at this point, I, I don't expect the rhetoric to be, you know, sort of turned down a notch. As for the entire electoral process, some experts say questions surrounding the legitimacy of it is hurting our democracy. This has the, the unfortunate consequence of leading half the country to view the outcome of this election as illegitimate. Um, this is problematic because this strikes directly to the, the health of our democratic system. Courtney Crown, Fox 59 News. Now in Indiana, once the state receives an absentee ballot back in the mail, they enter it into the state voter registration database. You saw part of that process. Now that system then alerts them to whether a voter has already voted or had another ballot issued to them. It is another measure to prevent voter fraud. And again, in Indiana, we do not automatically send mass ballots to everyone like some other states do. And those are ballots that are mostly coming into question during this election. Dan. 